wherever the forts were built, the flag was soon to follow. Wherever the rails were built, the flag was soon to follow. Wherever the cavalry went, the flag was soon to follow. Tell the story and you, they prick up their ears and they listen. My God, I think that era in our history of, of founding fathers and George Washington and the westward movement really stimulates people when they come and their eyes get bigger and saucer. This is what I've got. Thank God I got it. But it covers the waterfront. It tells you a story. And the paintings are all priceless. This is a Thomas Cole, and it's the Catskill Mountain House. And when I bought it, I said, that's America. That's the temple on the hill with the 13 column. I love this one with the reflection in the, in the water. Nobody can do that but Homer. Here you have one of my very favorites, Moses Viewing the Promised Land. And it's by Frederick Church. Of course, America was the promised land, you know. Very biblical. There, there's Moses on the, the sun, rising sun, rising empire. My God, that's, that's in Monet's garden. That's Monet's garden over there in France. See the lily pond there? And I saw that and I said, well, it's nice. I, I need a bloom, and so I got one. He's a painter. He's sketching. See, he's sketching. People either just love that painter or don't like it, one of the two. <laughs> I found that out. <laughs> Who can paint a rock like that but Maxfield Parrish? Who could get as much color and character in a rock as that? And after all, uh, life is life on a rock oftentimes. <laughs> 